Today, we're going to look at probability with the use of a possibility diagram to help us find the probability that we want. Now, let's consider a case where we have two dyes. Uh, the first one is actually a tetrahedral dry die, meaning that there's only four sides to it. And there are four numbers listed on it, one, two, five, and six. The second die is the normal regular die that you have. So one, two, three, four, five, six are the numbers printed on it. So these are all equally likely to happen. So the first one, we have four numbers. The second one, we have six numbers. Now the question says that you want to find the probability that the sum of the two dice, when you roll it, it will be an even or less than seven. Now since they actually want a sum, we can actually use the possibility diagram to help us and it will look like this. Okay, so we have one, two, five, and six. So this should have been a six. Okay, one, two, five, and six. And then the other numbers will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And basically, for a possibility diagram, this is uh, one of the types where there's actually an operator. Now, this operator is usually at the top left hand corner. It can be a plus, it can be a minus, it can even be a times. Uh, very seldom would you find a divide, but it is also possible to have uh, you know, the four operators. But usually, we will actually have a plus or a times and occasionally a minus. So, when we roll the two dice, obviously, we can actually see, like for instance, you know, you roll and the first one you get a one and you roll, the second one also shows a one. So, which means that you show a 1 on the first and you show a 1 on the second so which means that the sum of the two right will be 2 but if the first die you roll you get a 2 means the the face of it it shows a 2 but the second one shows a 1 obviously the sum of it will be a 3 and so basically what you do is just a normal adding up all right so you have 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 and you just do all the additions in the same manner so I'm just going to do it very quickly okay so there you have it this is what we call a possibility diagram and what's good about the possibility diagram is that at one glance you can see the sum and it will make a lot uh, the finding the probability a lot easier. Yes, it is a little bit troublesome to draw out the table, but as you can see from here, the question asks you what's the probability that the sum obtained is actually even? So what you can very quickly do is that let's label the even numbers. So in this case here we have even. So I'm just going to uh, put a tick here, even. Even, 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 even. So I use a red tick to show all the possibilities of getting an even number. So what we can do is that we can actually write down probability of even. Now, all together here, if you count the blue numbers, right, this is 4 and this is 6 numbers. So all together we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 numbers. So we have a total of 24 numbers. So total 24 numbers. Now we are going to find out what's the probability of getting even numbers. So remember earlier on we put a tick to show which were the numbers where the sum is actually even. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers. So we have 12 out of 24 being even. Now, both of the numbers right are divisible by 12. So we can reduce it and the answer is just half. So basically, you just have to count it out. All right? You don't have to do any form of calculation. It's really a matter of just counting it out. Now let's look at the second one. I want a probability that the number, the sum is less than 7 All right so now we are going to look at the ones where it's less than 7 so I'm going to do a circling this time around All right, numbers that are less than 7 okay so it'll be 2 3 6 3 4 4 5 5 6 and 6 
So these are the numbers that are less than 7. I cannot use 7 itself because it has to be less than that. So again, remember we have a total of 24 possible outcomes. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so we have 10 possible cases where this sum of the numbers were actually less than 7. Similarly, we will reduce it, so we get it as 5 over 12.